Hello everyone, episode 20 of Rebuilding Bolton. What's going on? How are you all doing? Say hello in the chat if you just joined. Let me just have a tell that the stream is live and then we'll um we'll go for it. Got the Champions League today, boys. I'm I'm excited, I'm nervous, I don't know what to expect. Are we gonna get the group of death? I have no idea, but we're gonna we're gonna find out, of course. But yeah, let's um let's just advertise the stream. I'm a little bit early. I did say 6 p.m., but I got my times a little bit wrong, so it is obviously 5:30. I wanted to stream just after the football, so. So yeah, do say hello if you just joined. Burger, how you doing, man? I'm gonna close everything down. Uh, Petal, how you doing? Crap, my team just made Norwich. I'm Man City. Evening. Ethan, how you doing? Sir Willis, or Sir Will, sorry, how you doing? I just realised I've not closed Football Manager down <laughs> since yesterday. Uh, I left it on, I, after I saved it last night, I just like left it on. <laughs> so I've not even closed it down. Uh, Strange, what's going on? Alex, how you doing? So it is a little bit of a Saturday stream. Well, it is a, sat it is a Saturday stream today. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just getting comfortable. So, yeah, I'm not expecting a massive amount of people, but we're going to stream. I know because I'm off today. So there'll also be a stream tomorrow. If you have just joined or re-watching, there will be a stream on Sunday. Sunday stream tomorrow will probably be about 4 p.m. Um, but yeah, we started the Premier League yesterday. So we actually finished, well, we, we played the first game against West Ham. We won three one, so yeah, not too bad. Not too bad of a start, I guess. We did concede, but Mala jumped up to two goals, or uh, well, scored two goals in his first game. So excited to see Mala again this season. Uh, we've got a very easy start, to be fair. I mean, if you look at the the start, the first three months are very easy. I don't know when. When do we find out about the Champions League? So the group stage draw is in about four to five games. Well, four games time. One, two, three, four games time. We're going to find out who we've got in the Champions League. I don't know where we seeded, so I guess we'll find that out as well. But apart from that, let's get into the straight away to the first game where a few people join. It's only against Southampton, so yeah, let's have a let's have a little look. We played Southampton once, twice, obviously drew draw, drew once, and um and won once as well. Um, I guess we're just going to go with this team because we had a full strength team, didn't we? Um, so I guess we're just going to go with this. I mean. Didn't really see a massive amount from Kezi first game, but he got a 720 rating in his first game, I guess. Oh yeah, not too bad. He got an assist as well, to be fair. So let's not get too um, let's not get too carried away with him. Pat's here. What's going on? Right, let's go. Southampton against Bolton. First game of the stream. Why a few people join? Let's do it. Like I say, it's gonna be quite quiet today. People are gonna be out. It's the weekend. Not expecting that many people to watch, but obviously people can catch up, which is the beauty of YouTube. So yeah, let's um, let's go. It's only going to be about a two to three hour stream today. That's it. And we almost go one 0 down in the first twenty seconds. Chris, how you doing, man? Yeah, not the best of starts for Bolton. Um, a minute into the game, <laughs> two shots for Southampton straight away. You talking to me yet? Yes, Patsy, of course I am. Pinto. Nice. I'm oh, I'm ex I'm excited for Pinto. I don't know why. He, I mean, well, his own goal, but no, it's not. It's Pinto's goal. I just really want Pinto to start improving. Like, I don't know what it is about him. I don't know if it's just because he's Portuguese. I, I, I don't know if that's the reason. Can I just look at his attribute changes since he started? Like, are, are we seeing him improve? What, what am I looking for here? Uh... So, I mean, in all fairness, his attribute changes haven't really been... He's only had one increase in long shots. Two increase in the determination, though. And his physicals are going up probably the most out of everything, so... But yeah, I'm excited for Pinto. I just want to see what he brings in a few years. For every loss, you should... Oh, we're losing already. Shit. Um, for every loss you take, you should add one more hour of a streaming. Not today. I've got a bit of a headache today, I'm not going to lie. I've had a headache since last night. Karma, what's going on? 
Karma joins him. Oh, we're not losing. We're drawing, actually. I've got a feeling we're going to get second season syndrome. They've got Radjkovic in goal, so this is clearly he's going to play the game of his life. Um, <laughs> We'll see. Ampadu, nice. Trincao. I need to see more from Trincao this year, but he is playing. He isn't natural left winger, so. Gronley Sale gave you the other eight, probably. Uh, Pinto. Viana. I'm, ex I'm expecting that right hand side to be very strong. Milanadov, and that's Milanadov's first goal of the season. Lovely bit of football. I'll take it. Well, yeah, that right hand side is going to be very, very strong with um, Biana and Pinto. And it's 2 1. Pinto again, Biana. Nice ball by. Oh, I'm not really. Trincao. Biana. He's on the ball so much, Biana. Is Pinto. Kessie, the debut goal for Kessie. Frank Kessie gets his goal and makes it 3 1 to Bolton. Boys, we're going to win the Champions League. I can feel it. This is the season the save ends. <laughs> the Champions League is the ultimate target, I guess. I mean, to be fair, we're not doing um, <clears throat> we're not doing too well stats wise, really. Very average. We just took our chances. Pinto. Is he gonna win that? Yeah. To be fair, like I say, we've only had eight shots. Defense again, all over the place. Raya should have done better there. Still, I can't sort this conceding out, man. I just can't. I, I think it's the tactic. It's got to be the tactic. We just score a lot, but we also concede a lot, I guess. Beretta, Pinto. Milanadov. Milanadov. Oh, Trincao. Bring it across. Paolo, man. You've got to do better than that. What a ball. Oh, man, I should have scored there. That was a great boy by Pinto. I decided to get Raya um, when I was promoted and conceded so many with him in char with him. Change keepers were so much better. Not watching City Spurs. Nah, that's probably why the stream's quite quiet, to be fair. Um, like I said, I'm not expecting that many people today, but I, I kind of I don't want to stream too late, you see. So, Pereda four two. It's a four four two problem. It probably is, but we, we score a lot of goals, so I kind of like it. Um, we do find out in three games time who we're gonna be who we're gonna be pl playing in the Champions League. I'm assuming we're gonna be fourth seeded, right? DLP is defend, yeah. Godfrey, what's going on? Yeah, kind of a good start to the stream, I set, I guess. It's still only the set first off. Malin's not really done much, so we're gonna take him off. We're gonna bring on Arp. Also gonna bring on Davis for Trincao as well. But now I'm really liking this team at the minute. Inglaze. Oof. Um so I have decided that there is going to be another save before FM twenty. Which is going to be a lower league save. Um, Bolton is obviously going to continue. But I'm going to estimate in probably like two to three weeks time. The save might be over. I always set the target of winning the Champions League. I'll never delete the save. We'll always come back to it as like a one-off and play a few games and stuff. Unbelievable, but Jeff. essentially for me, the fun for me is kind of rising up the leagues. Um, and stuff like that. So I have decided the new save, who it's going to be. Well, I've decided the league it's going to be. Um, we've still got a lot to do with Bolton. Like I said, there might be a, it might be another two years left with Bolton yet. But um, yeah, three, three. Like I say, I'm going to say probably three or four weeks, maybe a month's time, um, just before FM20 gets released. I guess maybe through September. I'm assuming. So September will be another save. Um, yeah, something like that. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Unless we win the Champions League this year, which I I don't think it's possible, but. We'll see. Where will your new save be? Uh, it's going to be Greece. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a Greece 
four, fifth tier save. Or fourth tier, I can't remember which one it goes down to. Never done it before, so I'll, I want to try it. Dum, 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 dum. Right, nice four tier win. That's a big challenge. It is, and yeah, I, I'm excited. I, I want to do it, so. So I'm not doing England. Um, England will be the start of FM20, so. Yeah, England will be the start of FM20. Revive your JK challenge. What's the point? <laughs> There's no point on FM19 now. I probably wouldn't do it on FM20 either, to be fair. It's too much. We play Watford next. Watford are... So we've, we played two games, won two games. Can you load the save in Steam? Uh, I don't think you can upload saves in Steam. I'm not aware how to do it anyway. But yeah, I will upload the save. Like, once, once the save's over, I will upload it. All right, Julio Garcia goes out on loan to CF Pachuca. Accept that. Let's tell him. All right, he doesn't even want to go. <laughs> um, love this series, FM Scout. I need to go and watch City Spurs. Look forward to watching later, though. No worries. Yeah, it's like I say, it's available to watch afterwards. So it's only going to be probably like a two hour stream today. It's not going to be that long. Um, Celtic sign Anana. Celtic coming in with the signings from Chelsea. 12 million, 46k a week. Encouraged by Pinto. I actually need to get him over like three star, man. He's been three star for so long. His still value is still so low as well. And he's only 19. And he needs to really like improve. We keep giving him the game time. Maybe he's just got a slow development like Paolo, I guess. But he is performing, so I can't really complain. Jamie, how's your day been? I've had, yeah, it's been all right. I've had a bit of a headache all day, to be fair. I tried to have a little nap, but it got it went, it kind of got worse. So it's not going to be that long of a stream today. Uh, right, I'm gonna. I think I'm just going to go with the same team, to be honest. Oh no, we played the first game, Jamie. That's about it. Uh, looking strong defensively, still not looking great. Um, gonna play Juan. Fo I want to see what Foyth does like against Watford. Actually, let's let's play Foyth against Watford. No, I'm not. I'm gonna play Ampadu. Uh, I need to start giving Vergara a few games as well. Uh, but no, we've got the Champions League group stage coming up in two more games' time. So, so yeah, let's see. I mean, like I say, we are still conceding goals. Well, I've I've kind of found my first team that I want to play with now with Malanadov and Maller up top. Um, defense is still like I say we are conceding goals. He's offside, ref. He was clearly offside. Uh, how you doing, man? I'm just walking back from the game. Brandon, how you doing, mate? I'm doing well. Um, yeah, Mansell won today, so Mansell won two 0 which is a very I'm happy about that today. How did everyone's team do today? Let me know. Oh, here's a goal. So, 10 seconds in, we are 1-0 down. Lincoln won 4-0. Nice. Yeah, Walker scored, didn't he? We beat the Saints and played crap. Hey, Ryan, how you doing? <clears throat> Leeds 2-0. Happy days. Oh, yeah, we just need to... I think we're going to get second season syndrome for a little while, I think. Um, we, we're still going to score goals, but we aren't. We're never going to be great defensively until um, until we bring some absolute world class centre backs in. It's that type of tactic. So, Bolton managed to keep Tranmere down to just five goals today. <laughs> yeah, I seen it was one nil, but I didn't see the rest. Malanadov, what a guy! What a player! Holy fuck! So if I do, for example, let's just say I win the Champions League this season um, and say we start a new save. Um, obviously, I'll make the save available to for anyone that wants to carry on with Bolton. I, will, I would like someone to kind of carry on just because I want to see like what Milanadov and, and, and uh, Malak can actually turn into. 
But when we win the Champions League, if or when, we'll see. But if anyone wants to obviously carry on after I finish this save, by all means do it. Arsenal 2 1 win and Braintree 1 5 0. Nice. Right, half time it is 2 1. I mean, we're still looking very strong, to be fair. There's still a lot of work that we can do. Um, I am going to bring on this guy because I want to see what he can do. I know he's not natural in that position. I'm hoping this doesn't go wrong. Um, let's just see. I'm the only one to like the video. I know, Char. Well, this this 59 of you are in, man. I know it's quite. I know it's a quiet day. I understand that it's Saturday, but uh, come on, at least 50 of you should be liking the video. Come on, boys, smash that like button. Don't let me down now. It's a quiet day, anonymous. That's why everyone's everyone's a bit of football, and it's it's the weekend, isn't it? So, <laughs> see, man, I support you. Biana. Kessie. Come on, Kessie. What, what can you do? Terrible pass by Kessie. Pereda. Lovely. Pinto. Oh, Pinto. What was that? We're going to concede here. Our passing is not really very good. You know, what if, what's going to happen if we get like the group of death in the Champions League? Uh, watching City Spurs, listening to the stream and playing FM. I mean, that sounds perfect to me. That does sound like a perfect Saturday, if I'm honest. Trincao. Pereda. Nice. Paolo. Mala. Oh, good save by Pope. Come on, get the three points here. We're at home. We should be getting three points. Vergara. Is, if, we, if we draw this, it's my fault for bringing Vergara on. Pereda. Trincao. Mala, finish it, finish it. What the hell was that? Mala's a bit of a weird player, isn't he? He does some weird stuff. Biana. Pereda, so much space. So much space. Kessie. Oh my god, they need to shoot. Paolo! Is it the post? Offside, I think, actually. Right, let me... Um, let's bring on Asano for Pereda. We still had 22 shots and 12 on target, so. Mano is a bit like Sadio, Sadio Mane, Mane. Yeah. Apparently, Mane scored a really good goal today, didn't he? Oh, Asano with that little hoof, which kind of paid off. Mala. Could say Pope's playing really well, to be fair, in goal for, Wat for Watford. Asano! Debut goal by the Japanese. Hey, finally. Bring me them shirt sales in, boys. Let's get that merchandise up. <clears throat> the Japanese wonder kid. I still need to get a Japanese affiliate, actually. We seriously got to keep an eye out and look if this actually worked. And let's look... At the end of the season, when we get the shirt sales, let's have a little look if Asano sold the most, shall we? But we play West Brom next, and then I think we've got the... Um... Yeah, we've got the Champions League group stage after the West Brom game. I'm scared and I'm excited, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what to expect. I wasn't expecting to be in the Champions League for a start, so... I'm struggling to get foreign affiliates. Yeah, I don't know what's kind of happening. Um... It's not even letting me ask for one right now.
Are you going in your group? I, I haven't. It's not been drawn yet, so I don't know. I don't know what what seed we are or anything. I'm assuming we'll be fourth seeded, right? Savas is not getting an expected amount of football. Right, that needs to be sorted out. Right, okay, we told the Pacific Test Manager off a little bit. Uh, no, the, the English clubs don't have to play in qualifying rounds anymore. Apparently that's the new rule. The top four go straight into the um, group stage. In England, anyway. So if you just missed it, I have said that if we win the Champions League with Bolton, the save is kind of going to be over. But we'll still come back to it every once in a while, I guess. Um, but I have decided I want to start another lower league save before FM20 comes out. Um, I, 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 That's the plan, I think. But we'll see how long it takes us to win the Champions League, I guess. But I want to. I really want to try a Greek lower league save, like Greek tier four or something like that. Oh, I don't know if to wait and save that for FM twenty. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. But let's just play this. This is obviously our main save at the minute. So let's just carry on with this. Obviously, I'm really enjoying it. I've still got a lot of things to do. The team is nowhere near the quality of what I want. So um, we are going to stick with the the same team. So it's going to be the fourth tier of Greece. Um, yeah, let's go with the same team. We should be beating West Brom. My fitness seems to be a little bit better now, which is good news. Got that Wagyu guy at right back that we was going to get. I'm in Greece with Carithanon, National C. He wants to sign in January. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure, to be honest. I, I guess we see who doesn't perform. Uh, but I think West Brom got promoted, so we should be looking at winning this game. Uh, we have started very strong. We're on 10 points, but we've had a very easy start as well. Not really played any big teams yet, so I guess we just need to wait and see what we do against the cities and stuff, right? Got a good centre back on my one from the South American League. I'll get his name for you. I mean, to be honest, I'm I'm all right. Have we just missed a penalty? So I'm just moving my mic around to try and get it like closer to me. I mean, Ray has not looked too bad, but we're still conceding. No non, uh, no non EU players allowed, and three foreigners only in that level in Greece. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I did. I did look at the rules, but I, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm really enjoying this save at the minute. I still want to find a lot of wonder kids. I kind of want to see how Maller and Milanov turn out, if I'm honest. Um, so the chances are it might even wait until FM20 after the original English lower league save. Pinto. Oh, good save by Johnston. I mean, I hope, I hope you guys are still enjoying the, the Bolton save. Like, that's the main thing. As long as you guys are still, like, enjoying watching it. We've still got a lot to do. It's only our first year in the Champions League, so. And we've only really started seeing a little bit of money, so, yeah. Plenty of work to do yet. <clears throat> Wait, it's nil-nil at half-time against West Brom. It's not a good sign. I have got a feeling we're going to start to see a bit of, like, um, second season syndrome. I can't seem to score either. 
like, and I've noticed a lot of teams are kind of very, very close to us on stats wise, which wasn't really the case last year. Oh, nice ball. Who is that who passed that? See, Arp's got to be doing better than that as well. I finished fourth last year. Yeah, first season in the Prem, we finished fourth. Yeah, Johnston's having a right game. He's on 7.7. .7. I can't seem to get a goal at the minute. Unless we can score... Kessie, oh. I was suck in the league the first time we get the Champions League, but the Champions League goes well. All right, there's one more highlight. Oh, it's not going to be a goal for them, is it? Okay, he's offside. Thank fuck for that. Holy shit. <laughs> um, Milanidov. Oh, Milanidov. No, Johnston saved it again. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I just can't... I couldn't beat Johnston today. He had the game of his life. The OBS crash. Yesterday was fine. Um, we did like a three-hour stream yesterday, Jamie. I heard about the stream before that. And that is a, a nil nil against. Um, we missed a penalty as well. Very disappointing. Uh, no, it was my internet that died. That's yeah, it was my internet. Boys and girls, this is the moment. The Champions League group stage draw. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Are we going to get the group of death? Clean sheet, but no goals, which is very odd because it's usually the opposite way around, right? Um, so, yeah, it's quite strange. Uh, filed want Sam Murray on loan. You can take him. That's not an issue. Saves before draw. I mean, I'm assuming we'll be fourth seeded, right? See, the thing is, I'm probably going to carry on uh, with the save because I've never really played in the Club World Cup as well, and I really want to play in it. Um, I always tend to end my saves, like, after I win the Champions League, but I don't really want to do that. Not, I don't think there's no point in starting a lower league save now because FM20 is literally around the corner. We're, like, a month away from the beta or just oh well, all about two months away or whatever. So it's not that long away. So there's still plenty of time to do a lot of stuff with this save. No, anyone can get the beta. Right, we don't have a game here for some reason. Yeah, I mean, anyone can get the beta, so. But apparently there's, an, there's an announcement at the end of this month about the new game. Uh, where usually the announcement as I think Miles posted something a few days ago. Saying the announcement's going to be the end of the month. They've had to delay it for very good reasons, apparently. Uh, I've been trying to figure out what that would be, but I have no idea. I've got no inside knowledge, I'm afraid. How long player can we train in? Be natural in several positions? Um, it all depends on the player. Uh, 
and his hidden stats, if you want to call it that. Adaptability, well not adaptability, but anything like that. They're kind of hidden stats. Versatility, that's what I'm looking for. Adaptability is the country, isn't it? Yeah, versat versatility is what I'm, what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> Do you think we're going to be fourth seeded in this? So Ed is back from training. Uh, back from injury, sorry, not training. Defo fourth seed. Yeah, I'm assuming I will be. Finish fourth, right? I think does it go on like coefficients? That's one thing I'm confused with. Like, I don't know what really the coefficients mean. Never understood it. I've always seen the message, but I don't really get it. Not very familiar with that type of stuff. Uh, it looks like the final um, Champions League playoff um, second leg is about to take pro take place. Let's see who goes through and who's join who could be joining us. I'm assuming Ajax will go through. Ajax go through Zagreb, Kiev, Copenhagen, Porto, and um, and Leon. <laughs> there's, there's some big teams. Obviously, the bigger teams as well. Barcelona, PSG, Real Madrid. You know, this is it now. We kind of, yeah. We're in the big boy stage. My youth, my youth team is going to be playing also. Uh, EFL Cup. So we've got the EFL Cup third round. We still haven't been to any final yet, you know. We've got Cardiff in that. That's fine. We still haven't made it to any final. And Murray goes out to uh, Files. Yeah, we don't even want a cup yet. <laughs> it's so depressing. Here we go. We are, of course, seeded fourth. Um, automatic draw. Let's uh, let's see. I mean, sport. I guess group. I want Group A. I guess already looking at them teams. Obviously, we can't get anyone else who's English. So we. I mean, I'll take Milan as well. To be fair. Obviously, we can't get Group E or F or H. I kind of don't want Group A now. I, I look at Group C already. No. Yeah, Group C is going to be a bit. Uh... Oh, don't get Group C or Group G, please. Please, game. Oh, don't do this to me. Holy shit, look at Group G. He's got Benfica in there as well. If we get Group G, I'm fucked. Oh, we've got Group D. I think we actually got the easiest group. I, I think we can take that. Honestly, uh, Leon's still going to be difficult. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> he was all asking for Group D. Um, I, I think, uh, yeah... I think we could, it's definitely the easiest, I mean, no group's easy, but it's definitely the easiest group out, out of the lot. I mean, that one, they fucked. Crasonador are absolutely going to get destroyed. Um, I mean, A wasn't, yeah. I mean, A's got obviously Sporting in Madrid, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously, Milan's going to be quite interesting, but it says I've been under the tough group, but that's only down to my, my rep, I guess. That's why it says that. Uh, but yeah, that is the Champions League group. Milan, Besiktas and Leon. Uh, confident we can beat Besiktas. I think Besiktas have got my player out on loan as well. Savas, yeah. So I'm confident we can do Besiktas. Leon is always going to be tricky because they have got a few decent players. But it's probably still winnable, I guess, on the day. Uh, Milan, I mean, obviously Lukasiewicz, if he scores against me, I'm going to be furious. Uh, but again, to be fair... Milan on the day could be winnable as well. So, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better draw. I think it was good. I was Tenali could progress on the year. Well, I nearly signed Tenali, Birchie, but, um, yeah, he chose Brighton over me. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, Tanal is a Brighton man. <laughs> oh, he chose Brighton over me. So we could have signed him, but. Uh, why are we attending press conferences this? I'm going to say we're going to win it, of course. Arvi Elliott, yes. I forgot about Arvi Elliott, actually. Arvi Elliott scoring him goal. I I'm assuming Arvi Elliott can't be starting from the land, surely. I'll be very surprised if Arvi Elliott is starting at Milan. We played on first as well. Where is he? He's on the bench. He hasn't made an appearance yet. He has not made any appearances yet. I'm not doing any more scouting at the moment. Talking of scouting, actually, um, have my assignments found anybody else? Um, nope. To find a centre back, Jose Anate, who is not good enough. So uh, I don't know what my assignments are doing, man. They're not bringing really anyone in for me. We've got a game against Leeds now, and we've got um, 21, 23 players there on international duty. His career was already killed off at Bolton. Milan is his career's funeral. I mean, to be fair, it was it, it was our first choice in like, um, yeah, our first choice in the championship, I guess. Uh, right, let's go with this. So we're gonna stick with this. Is our kind of our team. Um, we can't really get much better than this, so let's do it. Bit disappointed of the nil-nil draw against um, against West Brom, but Johnstone had the game of his life. Feel I need to be a little bit more clinical up front. I'm just wondering how long we can probably keep. Um, how long do you think we can keep Milanadov and? Oh, that's a great goal. Trincao with the free kick. How long do you reckon we can keep Milanadov and Mala up front? Like, I guess it depends on the development. Well, they're only like 20 years old, so they're still very young, aren't they? Unbelievable, Jeff. Tran, thank you for the, um, for the sub. Pinto. So Leeds got promoted last year. These are the club that destroyed Gronley. He was just never the same when he came back from Leeds, wasn't he? Oh, Pinto. Pinto's getting a bit more attack in this game. Or well, this 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 season. He's already scored two, I think. Yeah, I'll have a look at Jack Lane after. I can't imagine he's in the first team either, to be fair. Pinto. Like I say, just a little bit worried about um about the conceding again, but if we're scoring the goals, I don't really mind. I'm not really too fussed. I thought that would have been a free kick then. I mean, look at that. The stats wise, I mean, eight, eight shots already. We're in control. Kessie, Trinkau. Stood over the line, ref. Kessie's holding that midfield really well, though. Trinkau, Kessie. Go on, shoot. Over the bar. Milanadov over the bar again. What's going on with our shooting? Damn, when you mind it's kind of a coaching actually. Raya should have done better there. Raya should have done better, man. Holy shit. We still concede in every single game. Apart from that last 0-0. No -no. Raya just passed him the ball over the line. We are going to get set. I can tell you right now, we're going to struggle to finish in the Champions League this year. If we're conceding against these teams... 
Once we play United and stuff, we're going to be fucked again. Your centre-backs are still shit. They are, yeah. Milanadov. Dun, dun, dun. You wouldn't really class, let's be honest, you wouldn't really class Sutar and Ampadu as world-class centre-backs, would you really? Kessie. I mean, they're obviously an improvement of what we had, but... Yeah. I've got no issues with the, with the left back and the right back. I'm really happy to keep them. Like, Biana's absolutely quality, man. Such a good wing back. Still so young as well. Let's, um. Trincao's doing alright. So the striker, let's bring Arp on and see what Arp can do. One has 10 marking, no wonder they always lose the striker. I'm, I'm trying to find them though. I'm still trying to find the centre backs in the assignments. But I'm, I'm struggling to find anyone that looks like they could turn into a ball playing defender. Pinto. Trincao. It's the Trincao show really today. Jorge Mary. Yeah, we're not going to be able to sign players like that. Maybe next season we could, because we've, we've, we're we going to have a lot of money in the bank next year. Kessie, that is a great goal. That's exactly what I used to, I like to see from the box-to-box. -box. He occasionally holds the midfield, and he just pops up with a goal like that and gets in the space. Spider, what's going on? OUFC, what's going on? But yeah, that's exactly what I want to see from, from Kessie. The occasional yellow card, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, the, the goal like that. But yeah, we can play Kessie in that role for a lot, a few more years yet, at least. Until we, until we find that, that next wonder kid in that role. And that's the plan. Right, let's bring on Vigara for Ampadu. In fact, let's bring on Vergara for Sutar. And uh, let's bring on Asano as well. In fact, we'll bring on Davis. We'll rest out Trincao now. So we actually play um, we play Milan in the first game of the Champions League. Which is in a few games' time, I believe. So Palo is so small. Rea can't, see, Rea can't be giving the ball away like that. Trincao wins it back. Played really well today, Trincao has. Arp, Mala, nice. 4-1 in the end so far. Speaking of Wonder Kids, is there, only, is there a way only to search for regions? I'm not sure, actually. I've never really looked for that. Definitely a better second half, I guess. Man City 2 1 up. I mean, we had the 30 shots. It's them balls we need to keep, we need to be careful with. I mean, Ray is looking. We gave away a penalty anyway, I think. See, that was that was stupid. Absolutely stupid. Now, have we got a goalkeeper that can save penalties? Probably not. No. Kessie with the tackle, though. Actually, a pretty good ball to Arp. He ruins it, though. Davis, Arp. Paolo. Pereda. Ooh, unlucky. Unlucky. Q 
Kessie's not getting many clean sheet bonuses at the minute. Yeah, I guess um, defensively, man, we're so, I don't know what it is. It's got to be the centre-backs again, but it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, end of the day, the club's in a very good position to improve in the future, right? I mean, we've got 70-odd million in the bank going into the season. So we're in a good position. Let's just let's just improve next year more and more and just keep improving. I've just got to find that that centre back man. That one who just blows us away in the assignments. You know, he pops up from Uruguay that's like 89 rated. It's coming, I can feel it. It will come at some point. Um yeah, we just got to wait for them to pop up. There seems to be less this year, though, than last year. We've got the international break now, and then we play Tottenham. So the first kind of big game of the season. Uh, and then we play AC Milan. So the first time we played against a European club on this stream, of course. I think it is, right? It's Tottenham. Uh, yeah, Tottenham, then Milan. Um, Yeah. We're gonna have to probably rotate in the um, in a, in a lot of games like league cups and stuff like that. Songare has been called up to Ivory Coast under twenties. Boom! Five star, ninety-one rated centre back from ASEC, two hundred and fifty k release clause. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm waiting for that moment. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that, man. It'll come eventually, but we just got to wait. Ed is injured again. Commercial income. So we're 17th in the commercial income. Um, Don't really understand that. That's, I guess that's all shirts and stuff in it. Merchandise. Um, I'm still trying to get this affiliate abroad in Japan. Here we go. Right. Profile in another country. Yes. Let me, for God's sake, choose a, J a Japan club. Choose club. Right. Where's me Japan? What's the Japan called? Is it K-League? Or J-League? Who are these? That's Korea. Where's Japan, man? Hang on. Oh, it's lagged out. There we go. I'm assuming that's not the top league in Japan, right? What's the top league in Japan called? Oh, it is this one. Okay. Here it is. Okay. I was hoping for some, like, red diamonds and stuff, but... Yeah. Who's the biggest team in this? It's got to really be one of these one of these teams. Kobe. We'll choose them for the time being. Um, and then obviously once we get rep increases and stuff, I mean we will get rep increases. We're in the Champions League now, so we see that's one thing I want to do is work on my affiliates. Like, <clears throat> yeah, there's still so much to do in this save. You have no idea. Our rep is still so poor. A good Champions League campaign this year, though, will we'll definitely help that if we can. So we're still only like three-star rep. It's very, very annoying. Kessie has been banned. Ah, okay. 
Um, that's competitive internationals. That's fine. Not too worried about that. What was that message about then? Ah, okay. Anyone? Oh, they're still not coming up. It's bringing a few players up from like... From Spain right now. At Angel Camara. Players like this. Who's going to cost us like an arm and a leg. Outway recommends Kaglar. Uh, why do I want him as my top target? <laughs> I love how it's telling me a centre-back should be my top target. So even the assistant kind of knows that my centre-backs aren't great. But yeah, the Bolton, the Bolton, Bolton, didn't, uh, not Bolton, Tottenham, sorry, didn't do very well last year. They did awful. They finished like 13th, didn't they, in the season? So. Right, this is what I'm worried about. Bolton to register players for next phase. Uh, how are we going to do this? So it's not including Arp or Maller into the team. We don't have to register Malanado because he's under 21. But yeah, it's not including Flores. Paolo's under 21. Oh, fuck. How are we going to do this? Because obviously we need Mala in the team. Oh, we can still register him. Okay. I'm assuming we can't register Arp. Yeah, we can't register Arp, I don't think. So Arp might have to be left out of the team. And we probably use Eddie, I guess. I mean, Paolo's still registered. It's only Flores that can't be registered. I mean, I guess we kind of need that. So I, I think we, I don't think we should. We need to register Fernando. Uh, um. Oh, we don't need to register TXE though because he's in the under twenty threes. So we can register Arp. That's that's all the team registered actually, apart from Flores. Um. Yeah, I think that's everybody. Yep. Good with that. Sweet. Do I really have to do that again? Okay, lovely. So we can register pretty much everybody. Um, yeah, we can register everyone in the in the Champions League. So that's good news. We've got Tottenham at home. The first chance of kind of seeing what our new club can do against bigger clubs, I guess. And then we're playing Milan. The very first game in the Champions League with Bolton. Oh, we've had a few. Oh, 285. 85 in the chat. And they're not any players that we use. A poacher and an attacking midfielder. Brilliant. Um, let's have a look what's out there. So, Augustin Damin. Finishing of 18. Oh, he's got to be retrained as an advanced forward, surely. Estimated cost 2.17 million. Contracted to Boca Juniors. 18 finishing, though. 18 finishing. Ugh. <laughs> There's so many strikers. Why is there so many strikers? Like, regen-wise? They need to, like, move them out a bit. I mean, what do you guys think? Should I sign this guy? Augustin Damin? I kind of want to start building a big under-23s, if I'm honest. He's got a release clause of 2.7 million. We're always going to make more than 2.7 million on him. Let's be honest. Let's, um, let's get him in. What about Lucas Nunes? 
Nah, I don't want to AMC. Facundo Vasquez. Probably a little bit too much at this point for his stats, I guess. Um, yeah, he doesn't, his stats doesn't look amazing at the moment. Um, a left back, Giancis Loizu. Again, probably a little bit too much for us right now. And there's a DLP called Mako. Who's this guy? 80 million, though. Oh, he looks good. Holy mother of God. He looks absolutely quality. He's only 20 as well. Damn, son. The technique and the passing. Bit too much money right now. There's a Croatian... Um, that guy's good as well from Watford. Damn. He's going to cost a lot of money. Uh, 88 million, I'm assuming. Yeah, we're going to have to pay this release clause on that guy. Okay, so the assignments are found... A play we've just signed, I guess. So, he wants back up. Manchester City are incredibly interested. Um, how much did Watford pay for him? I'm, I'm not sure. I forgot his name now. I'd look back. Um, so this guy, we're going to obviously... Look, we, this is the type of guy we're going to loan out for a bit, for a few years. Um, and see what he does come back like. Um, so I'm going to give him the 8K, just in case I do decide to put him in the first team. Um, 9.5. I'm, I'm happy with that. Four-year contract. Boom. Augustin Damien. A player that could potentially reach 20 finishing at some point. So let's bring him in. Never had a player that's had 20 finishing. Actually, not a region anyway. You'll not keep up anyways. I need to start finding some English players though. I guess... Um, I, I think, you know, on the intake day, I think we've really got to start um, start trying to bring some players through the youth. Um, Mug, can you just post the link to that, um, to that intake date, please? I just want to do something for a bit and just see see what we can do. I just want to try something. Miles and Bellow. Yes, we've got them. But I mean, like, finding players on intake day, even if, even if we have to pay the compensation. And getting them, getting them players in the under-18s at 16 years old, maybe spending four years with us to get, to get homegrown. I think that's the type of stuff that we need to be doing. But let me just have a look. I, I want to do a little test, actually. Um, right, let me see if there's any intakes in September, October, and November in 2022. So we've got... So we've got Belarus, 31st. I don't know if it's someone better than that, really. Ireland, 14th of September. Bolivia. So we've got a lot of South American ones kind of coming up. Brazil is 15th of September. So let me just do something quick. I, I want to try some. Um, where's my notebook? There we go. Where's 2022? Oh. So Argentina is the 2nd, I think, of November. This is a little tip, by the way, that I used to always do. Brazil is the 7th of... No, the 15th of September. The problem with the Brazilians, they can't come into the eighteen. That's that's the issue. I just want to try it with them too and see see if we see if we can just look who comes in, I guess.
But I mean, the, the English ones, when we get the in intake for the English ones, we probably need to start looking at picking some of them up. Um, even though it's going to cost us compensation, but I think we, we've got to start getting some better under 18s. It's going to be hard while we say, I mean, once we win the, if we win the Champions League, it'll be a lot easier to sign players. Once our rep gets higher and higher. I also couldn't come till I was 18. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we're about to play Tottenham. But I just like looking like at the intakes that come through. Who have we had a bid for at this stage? Gotta be someone on loan. Um, Miller. Roman Barnett. Craig and Miller. Right, come on, don't give me any more injuries. See, at the minute, like, I've got... Bellew's out on loan at the minute. Potential just isn't there, is it? That's the problem. I mean, if you look at me under 23s, the potential is there, I guess. Um, Like, we've got, you know, we are starting to build kind of the potential up. Why can't I highlight them? Like I said, the potential is there so far. It's It's small, but the potential is kind of there, so... I need to get these loaned out though. I think we've decided we're going to get rid of William Yeller. I probably need to offer him out actually. Because people can start bidding for him on the 1st of January. So I've, I've decided to, um, to loan him out, uh, to get rid of him. This is the one that's contracts expiring, I think. Um, Shabanov, we need to give Shabanov a new contract. Hot prospect. Okay, I'll, I'll give him that. But Shabanov wants a new contract. Uh, I don't care about this guy. And then we'll decide, obviously, on these two, see how they develop. But yeah, William Yellow, he, he, he kind of wants to go. He's got a release clause of 7.5. I can't see us getting rid of him. Have a lot of foreign players. We do, yeah. It's football manager. That's where all the good players are at. <laughs> English players are too expensive. That's what I'm talking about. In our intakes, we need to start bringing English players in and, and try and... Yeah. Because the problem is we're loaning these players out abroad, so it's not making any difference to us. It's only the fact that we can... Um... Yeah, it's only the fact that we can get some money for them. That's what we're doing. Really, so. Panedo, I'm intrigued to see how Panedo turns out. He's currently on loan at Valencia. He has scored, he has made two appearances for Valencia and he has scored two goals. So I'm really, really intrigued. that It was the decision whether I was going to bring him into the first team or not. Uh, I mean, a lot. to be fair, a lot of them have got ability as well. Uh, we just need to get a Medaka. I mean... He needs to be loaned out, really. Yeah, it's just too hard to get like to get foreign player to get English players on this game. Everyone wants so much money. David Raya is injured five to seven days. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. I need David Raya. <laughs> I've got the guy from Newport, otherwise, so he's gonna have to play against Tottenham. David Raya is injured or not. It should be it should be orange injury by then. The Brazil intake is after the AC Milan game, so I just want to see the values and stuff of of what kind of regions come through in Brazil. How can I make a good tactic? Just have to have a look at your team and see what your team can do. I always fit my players around my tactic. Improved offer for Damon. Who's Damon? Oh, he's the guy from Boca Juniors. I want to bring him in because... Yeah, he's got 18 finishing. I, I like that. 
and he's so young as well. I mean, it would be nice to be able to loan these players out to England, but the problem we've got is nobody bids for them. <laughs> like, if like in a, in a perfect world, I would just loan all of these players out for England for the next five years. Um, but then I think, like, is there any point in loaning players out? Do I just leave them in the in the under twenty threes rather than loan them to like Valencia? Because it's it's pointless. They're not going to get homegrown. So now I'm just thinking, like, do I just leave them in the under-23s and, and just improve my coaches from the under-23s? It's probably going to be easier to do that, I guess. Um, unless an English club comes in to loan them. Because it's actually quite pointless loaning them out abroad. Essentially, I need homegrown players, and it's going to take five years. If you loan them out, it doesn't count, does it? Don't they have to play in England like five years continuously to become homegrown? Right, we do play um, Tottenham now. Obviously, the fitness is going to be slightly bad because of the... Um, so, Biana is wanted by Manchester City. Um, David Ray is actually injured. <laughs> Oh dear, we can't even play him. Nick Townsend's going to have to play. This is all going to go wrong. Yeah, this is going to go wrong, man. Nick Townsend has come from Newport County. I mean, it's that's fucking hell. Um, I'm, instead of Ampadu, we are going to play Foyf, though, I think. I think five years they can gain citizenship. Ah, uh, okay. Right, let's go with this. I'm not convinced because we've got Townsend in goal. But we do play Milan after this. And um, obviously, Raya should be back for the, um, for, the Tottenham, uh, for the Milan game, I guess. This is kind of the first test with the new team because we haven't really played a big team. I know we are, we are obviously third in the league, but I want a tackle by Foyth. Wow, that was a great tackle. So I'm assuming Tottenham have kind of improved the team from last year. I mean, they can't get any worse, really. That annoys me when the keeper just stands there, by the way. Really annoying. Biana, Pinto, come on. We're not looking very good at the minute, but Foyf had a great tackle. That's about the, the highlight of the game so far. Trincao comes inside. Mala, oh, it's the crossbar. Oh, we had a chance there. Kessie, Pinto, Pinto, nice. Pinto is, is looking good, like... You guys don't don't give him enough credit. <laughs> Pinto is yeah, I really like Pinto. Yeah, good start against Tottenham. Trincao. Over the we need to find them balls over the top. Mala's got no one to pass to. I don't know where Malanadov was. Too much open. It just they open up the defense so easy then. Hello, Jamie. You're always great. As you say that, I concede. So, <laughs> um, Deli Ali's been injured, which is kind of good news. I've just got a lot of things I still want to do with this team. You know what I mean? So there's yeah. Hey, Jamie. How you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? Right, half time one one. Every time we bring ARP on, he doesn't really do anything. What's Pereda doing? Not playing too well, but neither is Mala. We're gonna bring ARP on. 
Maybe it's because you have the defensive line so up high the pitch. Possibly. But that's why we score so many goals as well. So it's like catch-22 situation. Man United are beating Burnley. I mean, I'll probably take a draw against Tottenham. As long as we win all the other teams. But we played the first game in the Champions League after this game. And we are losing against Tottenham. It's going to be a hard season, man. I'm telling you now. It's going to be difficult. Just kind of want to get through this season. Um... Thing is, I, I think I've kind of got to the stage now on this save where I can afford to blow 30, 40, 50 million on a player. Like, like obviously this year we was kind of... Milanidov, oh, he's got a score, man. Like this year we had to work on a lot of the depth, right? But I'm, I think I'm kind of at the stage now next season where we'll have the money to blow out on a four or five star player. Milanidov, yeah, oh, he's offside, no. But it's always kind of the same second season, I guess. Um, you like you have to survive the first season or do well the first season, and then second season it's all about the depth. Third season, you know, if you've got the potential depth, which is what we've got, third season's about the big players. Foyth. Pinto. Trincao. Bloody finally. 2-2. Two, two. We nearly lost then. We've still got a few minutes left. Four minutes at a time. We have gone very attacking. I'll take a draw. No, we won't. We'll take the win. Fair dues. <laughs> yes, Pinto! <laughs> Holy shit, I thought that was like end of end of time because it was not four minutes at a time. Fair dues. <laughs> yes, 3-2. Was you expecting that? Was you? Was you? Was you deck? Spurs bottling like usual. Need to get this phone call one sec. I'm back. Leave Virgin Media ringing me. I'll just put the phone down on some internet that's probably going to go off soon. <laughs> oh, I hate it when they ring me. Um, Pep Guardiola is the manager of Spurs. Here we go, boys. <clears throat> Are we going to get someone become a member so we can play the Champions League song? I feel like this is the time that someone and we need a new member. In three days' time. Kane stubs Manchester United State Juventus. Shabanov signs new deal for Bolton. Right, predictions for the AC Milan game in the chat right now. What are you saying? First game in the Champions League. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I don't really know what to expect. 
We are at home in the first game. AC Milan is a team that we can beat, but they have got some good players as well. Hey, it's three and a half star. Pinto has finally gone to three and a half star. Brilliant. It's been three star the entire time we've had him. But he has been scoring goals and assisting, so. Hundred and twelve hundred and twenty four million for this guy. But well, let's have a look how they um are your wingers on support or attacking? Uh they are on attacking, I think. Yeah, attacking. Right, AC Milan, here we go. Oh, the Champions League. We should have David Rea back, but let's have a look kind of at the team that they're putting out as well. Uh, Ampadu, Sutar, Rea goes in. That is the team. Let's go. I'm going to put Asano and I'm going to put Davis on the bench. So that right there is the AC Milan team. Uh, obviously, Donnarumma is going to be a tricky to get past. But the wingers, they don't play any wingers. So I'm hoping Trincao and Pinto get quite a lot of space. But we need to be careful through the middle with Pereira and Kessie, I guess. Um, and obviously, Kessie goes against his former club as well. There we go, the Champions League, first game. Was we expecting this this season? Was we heck? Andre Silva's obviously a very good striker. Paolo the Italian is obviously playing back in Italy. Pereda. Lukasiewicz on the bench, yeah. Trincao, get some space. It's going to be hard to beat Donnarumma. Trincao. We'll take the corner. Oh, what a tackle, Biana. Well played, man. Absolutely clattered him. Biana. Pinto. Biana gets another chance. Look at the space here. There we are. I was just about to say Paolo is so much space. Trincao, and it's a goal. Donnarumma should have been beat there. 1-0 Trincao, maybe offside. But Donnarumma definitely should have been beat there. Why are the player images different? Because it's obviously a face pack that I'm using. It is a goal. Oh, terrible by Donnarumma. Absolutely awful. Mala. Biana couldn't get the cross. Can you share the link? It's just one on the FM Scout website. I'm not sure which one. Pia Tech. Oh. 1 1. That was kind of Biana's fault. Then he was out of position as well. I guess this is the hardest, hardest game in the, in the group. I'm using the scope face back because it's the circles. Leon are beating Besiktas. Right, half time, 1-1. One, one. I kind of need to win this, really. Especially at home. Malanadov's not playing too well. Neither is Mala, to be fair. Let's see if Arp can get a goal. 
Who's my keeper? Um, David Rea from Blackburn originally, I think. So we signed him from Norwich. I'm on the third episode of the series. You turned this team around, man. Good job. Yeah, it's been very stressful. Pinto. We need to win this at home. Up. Oh, powerful ladder. Couldn't hit the target, though. Right, here we go. Paolo, come on. Pereda. I've not seen much from Pereda this season, have we? Kessie, Pereda, Paolo, Trincao. Gave the ball away again, trying to cross. They've got no one up front, though. They've gone quite defensive. Pinto. Paolo. Oh, my strikers can't seem to hit the target right now. Biana, Pinto, <laughs> I just can't hit the target. <laughs> Lucas Sevich is on the is on the pitch. I think that's gonna finish one one. Yep, one one in the first game. Uh, I don't know what to think about that really. I guess, I don't know. I, I don't know how, what to think about that. I guess we still need to adapt to, you know, Champions League football, playing different kind of tactics, formations, that type of stuff as well. So, yeah, we'll see. We've got, who we got next? Do we play Besiktas in the two games? I'm hoping we do. Yeah, so we played Besiktas twice. Uh, we've got Leon at the end of this month. I think the um, the Brazil intake is on the 15th. You could have said spoiler alert as I was looking to see what you're going to do with them in the future. Now I know you're in the Premier League and the Champions League. Um, yeah, I mean, you probably shouldn't have joined the stream then. In all fairness. Uh, right, pro let's have a look at the um, the intake for Brazil. Uh, let's go to youth intake. Uh, Brazil. Right, let's have a look who's come through. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. No. Oh, that's the worst thing ever if you press that because it filters it by like. It's so annoying. If you ever press that, it's the worst thing in the world, by the way. Oh, there we go. It's back. Right. Let's have a look. How many is that? 90. Go a bit, bit more. Two, three. We could do 500. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to add them to the shortlist. Uh, do you play offline as well? I don't know. Everything is online. Um, oh, there's some players there as well. Let me have a look at the shortlist, see who we've got. Uh, obviously, we need to get rid of the ones who we've... We must have put some players in the shortlist here like them, I think. Let's remove them. Right, so these are as them as well. So the thing about Brazil, the 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 um the regens never really come through high valued, as you can see. Um, but yeah, they just never really come through high valued. But like, look at that guy. That guy's sick. Again, we the problem is you wouldn't be able to sign them because he's already accepted the contract. Straight away wants seventeen million. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I mean, there's Alan Kardec at Flamengo who would accept a contract. But again, you have to pay 2.2 million to sign him. 
Um, yeah, so it's kind of a waste of time doing it, unless you do it in England. I guess we just stick with the assignments, really. Um, yeah, and go from there. 17-year-old Russian, Islam Lyaschenko, Ly 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 um, DLP. They don't want to sell him, so I'm assuming he's going to cost a hell of a lot. £29 million. You've got a, a natural left winger, Juan Pablo Sepulveda, who is wanted by... Ooh. Now, when you see this, it's like oh, you should buy him straight away. You know what I'm saying? Like... When you kind of see that, you know he's good. I've not looked at him yet. Juan Pablo, I mean, he actually looks really fucking good. He's a natural winger on the left-hand side as well. I think we swoop in for this guy now. He's got 17 work rate, 16 vision. That guy looks really good. It's potentially better than possibly Trincao because he's natural in that role. Uh, he's, already been, he's already made four caps for Chile. First touch is good. He's got 16 free kicks as well. 15 passing. Decision 17. Yeah, we, we go for this guy right now. 4.4 million release clause. That guy was really good. That's why I like to save money. I wonder if anyone else is going to go for him. Brighton will swoop in, probably. He would prefer Luton, yeah. Well, we have Norwich, Cardiff, and Leicester in the next three games. So I'm hoping to get three wins here. That would be great. Obviously, the Cardiff one, we're going to rotate slightly. So we've got a full strength team against Leicester. We're playing a lot of games at the minute. I need to start playing a few backup players. So we'll rotate against Cardiff. I'm not too fussed if we get knocked out at the AFL Cup. How we doing, Jamie? How you doing, man? Sorry, I miss you. Um, <laughs> I miss you then. I didn't see your name. How you doing, Loglon? We played the first game in the Champions League. Um, we drew 1-1 with Milan. So we played Leon soon. After the Leicester game, I think, actually. You guys are very, very quiet today. What's going on? I guess City's playing, aren't they? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Right, here we go. The game against Norwich. Gonna go with the same team. Because we are gonna rotate in the next game, so my team lost, so I'm quiet. Yeah, let's go with this. I just like to watch the stream. Don't like to chat that much. Yeah, that's fine. No, no worries. I'm just a little bit concerned how much we're getting kind of dominated at times. Like I say, next season, we should have a lot of money to spend. Milanadov. 
The board want me to finish in the Champions League this year as well, so the pressure's kind of on. I think it was the Europa League, actually. The pressure is definitely on this year. That's what you want from your sweeper, sweeper keeper. We need to get Mala. Mala needs to start hitting the target, man. Yeah, he's Mala. I don't know what's going on with him right now. The, them, the, both strikers have got to start hitting the target more. Otherwise, Pinedo is going to come back from bloody Valencia and take the place. Talk to you enough on a normal day, let alone chat. That's true. But I was happy with against the win against Tottenham. Like, I wasn't expecting that, so... Mala. Annoying. You playing against um, DeMarco? I am. We are losing against Norwich. Oh dear me. I just can't score. <laughs> Holy fuck, did you see that? I think that was Jordan Pickford. Jordan Pickford must have gone to Norwich. Holy shit, how did we not score then? We're hitting the ball over the bar more than anything right now. Loglorn, how you doing? All right, let's bring Arp on. Um, why is Mala nervous? Milanov's frustrated. I understand that. Asano's going to come on for Preda. Preda's like... I mean, Kess is on a bloody 630. We're going to make three changes and hope that it pays off here. And we're probably going to don't get a red card. Kess is like, yeah. Yeah, we've got him on loan, just as a, another choice up front. Oh, he hasn't scored yet, though. That's a good ball to Milanadov. Pickford. Is this telling me that I should have signed Pickford this season? Every time we've played against Pickford, he's been unreal. Honestly, every time we've played against him. This is a very disappointing game, I'm not going to lie. Very, very frustrated here. I don't know how we've just lost to Norwich. I'm not, I haven't rotators. Have we scored? <laughs> right, okay, that's uh, that's a game we need to forget about. My stri my strikers just aren't performing. Um Yeah, they're just they're just not scoring at the minute. I mean, let's let's be honest. We've got eighty-five million pound in the bank, and it's going up and up and up. So we're in a very good position. I do need to. Um, is anyone else as well? Nope. We're in a very good position. Uh, Loglawn, we've got a. Um, we just found a new a new winger on the left hand side. He looks really really good. Uh, I know for a fact you're going to quite like him. Uh, where is he? 
this guy. I mean, I know for a fact you're gonna like him. I open. I'm hoping no one else has bidded for him. And it's just us at the minute, but he is one to buy them teams. And you know how hard it is to find natural wingers. Like at the minute, Trinkau's not even natural in that role. So I think, yeah, I've got to bring this guy in. Just started this myself, season one in 10th place at the minute. Nice. Still so young as well. Oh, UFC, see you later. Well, we've got Cardiff. We are going to rotate. I, I do want a fully fit team against Leicester. So we are going to fully rotate and hopefully... Hopefully win. But we play Leon soon. There it is, Leon away from home. Oof. There's only 1-1 one, one at the moment. Like, we've only got one point in the group stage. So, after the draw against AC Milan, we need to kind of... Um, to be honest, I need to start really, like, improving my under-23 coaches as well. Um, I'm going to do that now, actually. Um, what's my? In fact, we we still didn't look. So we still we still need an attacking coach. Um and yeah, we still need an attacking coach. <clears throat> One second. Let's have a look who's out there. Um, let's have a look through them. Anyone that's got really good attacking. Right, so I'm just going to put the... Um... Luca Pavoni, coach. Benjamin Hoffman standing out at me. 17 attacking. Let's try and bring him in. How many coaches does it say I could have, by the way? I can have one more coach. I think it was a tactical coach, was it not? You've got Roman. Let's go up a little bit. See, that guy's kind of good. He's got 16 of that as well. But his level of discipline is so low. So I'd prefer kind of this guy. Right, let's bring them two in, and then we're going to look at the under-18s and under-23 coaches. Because they, the, th the thing is, the coaches for the under-18s um, have such an important part of your intakes. And I think because we didn't have great coaches last year, we're going to stick with this. Oh, no, we're going to rotate, aren't we, this game? So Nick Townsend, we're going to rotate everybody. Um, we should still have a pretty good team. So Flores and Foyf can play this game. Left back will play Arana. On the right hand side, Santiago Simon. Fernandez goes in there alongside Asano. Still a pretty good team, in all fairness. Alfonso Davis. And then top two is going to be Arp and Eddie. Eddie's first game for the club. Let's go. See, because I've also decided that I'm not really going to 
alone my under 23s are after this season i still kind of i still need to have the coaches there to support the development so we're going to look for coaches as well But they also help with the first team. So we kind of need... The under-23s are very... Like, people don't sign, tend to sign under-23 coaches. But they do, like... They have a big part of the first team as well. So you kind of need them. And like I say, under-18s are even more important because they help with the youth intake. So we need to, the, the staff isn't quite good enough for my liking at the moment. Always sign all the staff, yeah. I mean, the only thing I don't sign is data analysts. I, I just think it's pointless. Um, I will never really sign data analysts. I've got no data analysts in this club. They always suggest players that I never really look at, and they always, nine times out of ten, not great. And that's all they tend to do. I don't think they do anything else, to be honest. Oh, Townsend with a save. What's everyone up to tonight? What's everyone's plans? Everyone playing FM all night? What, like, what are you all doing? Tell me, I'm intrigued. Twenty first birthday, happy birthday. And Fernandez goes. FM all day. Fernandez, good goal. Would like to play FM all night, but I don't have the game. You may as well wait till FM twenty now. We will do some giveaways and stuff for FM twenty as well, don't forget. At some point. Oh, that's why Nick Townsend is a reserve keeper. I was going to go to the pub, but just ate a massive Chinese. I don't like Chinese food. I don't like Indian food either. I, I, yeah, I, I, Chinese, I can't remember the last time I ever had a Chinese. Putting the wife and the little one to bed, then FM all night. Newcastle funny, so probably just gonna hang myself after the stream. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't like to be a Newcastle fan if I'm honest. <laughs> Doing an experiment where I give Charlton one billion when they were still in League One. Pookie for top scorer this season. I did all right in um, Super 6. I've got like a Super 6 syndicate at work. I got 11 points today. I didn't do too bad. Um, yeah. I got the um, got the West Ham game correct. 1-1. One, one. Got five points on that. Watching your Norwich game just triggered my PTSD. Why was wrong? Oh, game we lost, I think. How have you watched the game? How have you watched it back? People keep asking me, telling me that you can't go back on the streams. All right, we, we, we won Cardiff with a rotated team. That's kind of good news. Play Leicester and then we play at Leon.
Fernandez is the guy that I wanted to train as a box to box, wasn't it? Anyone else in the assignment? Nope. Assignment's nice and quiet as usual. Saying that we have picked up two or three players, so yeah, I can't really can't really grumble. Um so oh, so Vergara has been showing remarkable improvements during recent training sessions. Which is good news. So I've really got to start trying to get this guy into a um I don't think we're going to be able to, though. Oh, Norwich got beat by them today. Okay. Uh, Newcastle got beat by them. Right, chat. I'm going to just dip downstairs and let the dog out. I'm going to be about two to three minutes. And then we're just going to advertise that the stream is still live and stuff on Facebook. Um, So I'll be back in like two to three minutes. Back shortly. Unbelievable, Jeff! Okay, I'm back. So I have to let the dog out because the missus is at work, so. <clears throat> right, okay. I'm going to update people where we're at, actually. Give me a second. Wow, 
Why, why we doing? Why I'm doing this? Let me know in the chat who everyone who's everyone been managing at the moment. Let me know your saves. I'm just posting that the stream's live. I want to update people. Okay, done. Right, shall we quickly look for our staff as well while we're here? Let's post the Discord in case anyone missed it earlier. Right, um, I, I really got to look. I mean, what is our... I mean, we, we're getting two new coaches in at the moment, which is fine. I mean, sports scientists, I probably need to look for a sports scientist or two. Uh, we've got no doctor either. But isn't that not the board who who get the doctor, not us? So we do need to stop. <laughs> I said I was going to do the staff before the season started, but we never actually got around to it. Um, so let's let's do that because we, we need the staffing. And it's one thing that's letting us down right now. Sports scientist. Andrea Scavinio. Two sports science. Not good enough. Why are sports scientists so hard to find? And why isn't there hardly any? That's the one that that's fine, I guess. So expensive, man. I still don't understand like what these actually do. I mean, I know what a sports scientist is. But, I mean, how much effect does that have on the game? Or is it just there for, for show? I, I don't know. Right, he can be my head of sports science. Physio-wise, how are we looking physio-wise? Let's have a quick look. Still on the Dutch lower league. Ricardo Sasaski. Yeah, he's very cheap, actually. Let's get him in. Get two new physios in. In fact, one more is probably enough. Yeah, I don't want to overspend on physios. Right, okay, that's the physios coming in. Now, let me just look at my under-18s first. We'll get the under-18 staff in, then we will get the... under. In fact, we'll do under-23s first. Um... Like, I have, I've got nothing for my under-23s. I've got one manager who... Could probably be better, to be honest. He's been there for a long time. For two years, he's been the manager when he was in the championship. <clears throat> so, yeah, under-23s need some staff. They've got the medical team. One physio, one sports scientist is efficient. I don't want anything else more than that. Um, I don't want to overspend too much on staff. I don't want any scout or transfers team for under-23s. But coaching team-wise, we've got a lot to do. Uh, let me do this first. So let me go into staff search, see if there's a new manager. Let's go coaching manager. And then if you guys want to know, a little little tip, if you want to try and find your... Because obviously if you look for managers, it's very hard to find people who's going to come to under 23s. You have to look for a lot. But you know, if you click this include bit here and untick first team and untick youth team, and then you get a realistic option for the um, for the reserves. A lot of people know that, but yeah, that that's there if you want to do it. So this guy is willing to join as the under-23 manager, which I would take that guy 100%. He wants under-18's coach, but we're going to give him... I mean, can he do? He's got, I mean, he's my management, to be fair. He's pretty good. He's also a good coach, so and he's got good potential. So we're going to bring him in as the 
under 23s manager and sack the current one. Two year contract. How about an assistant? Oh, yeah, John Terry's there actually. Can we get John Terry as the assistant? Hey, he wants the assistant. I want to give him like a, a big contract. There we go. John Terry is my under 18s assistant. Lock away your wife's. All right, let's do that. John Terry comes in. So my, my two new, my manager and my um, assistant manager's in. Um, we said we was okay physio-wise, weren't we? Let's go with coaches now. So coach. What was my head of youth like, by the way? So Hoffman and Hortado, I think I've gone for as my main coaches, I think. So let's have a look what we've got here. So we've got a guy here. I mean, coaches wise, as long as they're all kind of like I'm doing under twenty threes at the moment, are uh, yeah. I can get six coaches in. Um I'm just thinking, do I go with like one of each kind of style? That's my th my thinking here. I'm going to withdraw that. Let me so right okay, what we need to do Right, I'm going to bring a fitness coach in first. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. A fitness coach and a goalkeeping coach in the under 23s. This guy. Or under 23s. Coach. No. Fitness coach. There we go. Under 23 fitness coach is in. Right. Goalkeeping coach. And I've got four coaches. I want kind of a defending, attacking, tactical, and mental, I guess. Um, Flavio Tenius, yep. So bring him in as under-23 goalkeeping coach, if he accepts. I don't know if he will. Right, he wants the normal goalkeeping coach. Um, this guy. Under-23, he's got... I keep pressing that, goalkeeping coach. Vish, what's going on, man? We just saw in the staff that we kind of forgot to do. The under 23's goalkeeping coach. Um, and then coaching, we're going to go with a normal coach now, but we're going to look for some attributes. So we're going to go on to defense coach at least 16 for the under 23's. Paul Robinson, I guess. Got very good motivating. So Paul Robinson's got 18 defending. So we're going to bring him in as the under 23s coach. Yep. And then we're going to look for. Um, attacking. Attacking coach. Oh, for God's sake. Attacking coach at least 16. Let's see what we've got. Um, I assign them, but then I just kind of leave it at that. This guy has got good good attacking and good tactical, if we can bring this guy in. On the 23s coach. And let's have a look for a mental and technical I'm going to go with. That guy's got good working with youngsters as well. Yep. And technical, because that other guy had good tactical. Uh, who's this guy? Good technical stats. Yeah, we'll bring this guy in, the Russian, as a under-23 coach. And then I think we'll do the under-18s a little bit after this. But I think, yeah, not too bad. Um, Forgotten Dreams, what's going on? Vish, yeah, how you doing, mate? Um, it's been all right. I mean, it's been a bit weird stream, if I'm honest. Like, one, it's been quite quiet. But it is Saturday. I said that. 
But like we lost against Norwich. We played the first game in the Champions League against Milan. So our draw for the Champions League turned out like that, which was probably the easiest draw um, out of everybody that we could have got. But yeah, we drew against Milan. Defensively, still looking a bit shite. Um, still conceding a lot of goals, but yeah, it's kind of second season syndrome. Um, but now we bought a new guy and I think you'll like this guy we we found on the assignments. Let me know what you think. He's still not gone through yet, but this guy is wanted by a lot of clubs and we've seen him. We've got him for like four point four point four million. Um, but if you look at his stats, he looks very very good for the winger. Um, already capped for Chile. Very good physicals. Mentals are amazing for his age. So we brought that guy for 4.4 million. And he's just joined. There we go. Sweet. Four years on probably. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Saturday is always a quiet day. Need to make sure we send these on... Um, intensive language courses and see if they can recommend a signing which never works VAR disallows City's winner really Guardioli fancies chances not right now he doesn't <laughs> oh dear uh, it's all on YouTube Yugoslavia all on YouTube EFL 4th Cup draw now we have got Bolton against Peterborough I think do we is it me or do we get a little bit lucky <laughs> in cup draws? I have a feeling that you guys are gonna say yes we do because we do like get a little bit lucky. I mean, look at that. Out of all the teams we could have got, we got Peterborough, the worst team possible in the in the AFL Cup. Um <laughs> I'll take it though. I still wanna try and get to a final, man. Like we still haven't been to Wembley yet. Lucky draws, best Champions League group as well. Yeah, I know, but you'd take it if you could, right? Right, Bolton against Leicester. Here we go. The first team, Trincao, Pereira, Kessie and Pinto with Mala and Arp. Malanadov was dropping Malandov at the moment. So all three of my strikers have all dropped down to three stars because they're not scoring. And they're, they're playing shit, basically. Um, yeah, which is not what I want to see. Like, we started the stream, Malanadov and Mala was both three and a half star. Um, so yeah, not not the best, not the best. We need to get Kezi and Pereira actually like linking up together as well. Even Reyes dropped down three star. If you go into your preferences, it'll say hide sidebar or something or show sidebar. But yeah, I mean, give Shab another go in the first team. I don't think we registered him actually. It's annoying though, like you'd think because you know they scored a lot of goals last season. You reckon like one season wonders is a thing on FM? Surely not. Mala. Mala's been really poor. Pereda. Kessie. Like I said, next season, um just asking how did you manage to get Kessie and Arp to join you? Because we're in the Champions League. Paolo? Yeah, we're playing in the Champions League, so that's probably why. We're only three-star rep. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, to be honest, our um, our rep is still championship level, which is really annoying. Despite us kind of being in the Champions League as well, but the good thing is we, because we, our wages are so low, we're actually we're just making so much money, and we've got like eighty nine million in the bank at this point in the season. 
after signing everybody. So next season we should hopefully get like a big amount of money. At least we're at the stage now where we can start bringing in 80 million players, I think. Especially if we have a good Champions League. And then hopefully the rep goes up if we have a good campaign in the Champions League. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to next season, if I'm honest. And just doing as well as I can in the champ. Why can't we score? My landed up on 6.30, man. Playing so bad right now. There we go, finally. AI finally sussing you out. We're going to 4 2 3 1 soon. I'd do that, but I've got no play no one who can play on the inside forward on the right hand side. We never change our tactics. Yeah, we, we we never have on any FM. We always keep the same one no matter what. And <clears throat> yeah, I think fuck's sake. I think um I think we might be going to the four two three one next year, if I'm honest. I think it's chemistry. I've got no AMC either, so I can't I can't go. 4 2 3 1 this year. We're going to have to stick with this 4 4 2 and see what happens. There's, still, there's a highlight here. So, this is an actual highlight. Trinkau. Mala. He needs to cut inside. There we go. Mala. Kessie. That's why we paid 70 million for him. Boom. 2 1. Honestly, I think I've still got um I'm pretty sure I've still got the four two three one, you know. On my tactics from the when we added last. So that's my other favourite formation. But obviously I, I can't play it until I start bringing some some players in for that roles. I mean I'm I'm kinda thinking about it, but I don't know. Like, I think I've still got it here. Yeah, I've still got it there. So, the problem is I haven't got any AMC. And no one can play there. Obviously, I've got no AMCs. And then I think the right-hand side... Well, I've got Trincao, but we've got no one then for the left. So, we need to kind of... Yeah. If we're going to change to the 4 2 three, one, On top of the league using the 4-2-3-1 Catanacho style. Is that not my tactic on FM Scout that you're using? Yeah, but that's broken, bro. To be honest, Yugoslavia, anything I use, people if I start doing well with a tactic, people then say it's broken. So I can't I'm in a really no win situation. <laughs> um I could use like a fucking I could use a Christmas tree and people say I was I was acting or something. Right, why do these never like recommend any signings? I don't think four two three one's broken. I think four I think four four two is more broken than four two three one. Because there seems to be a lot of people using four four two and doing really well with teams that they shouldn't be. I mean I'm doing it as well right now, but obviously you guys seen with the first season of the Premier League we finished fourth, so See, I always struggle with one striker, though, but... So the youth and the training facilities have been upgraded. I forgot about that, which is really, really good news. I don't know what we're at now. Um, that's one thing that we still need to start improving, though. So we've got excellent training facilities and excellent youth now with exceptional junior and extensive youth. So actually looking pretty good facility-wise. We just need to keep improving it while we've got the money. So training facilities... 
I've got to say yes with 89 million in the bank, surely. Yep. And let's let's spend some money on the facilities, which will obviously help players come to us. Come on, please. There we go. Anything else we can ask for? I guess we improve this, even though we don't use data analysts, but maybe we will one day. Um, so the facility is going to cost me nine million pound um, to improve the youth and the um, and the training. In total, nine million pound. So we've gone down to eight, well, we're on eighty six million. So things in game mechanics. Right, we've got some staff coming in. So one thing that we're trying to do at the moment is kind of improve our staff because we've got a lot of under twenty threes coming in that we don't want to particularly loan out. Um. And we want to kind of keep the players here with us in the under-23s league. Um, yeah. Can you show how many days you have configured to look at a player? It's ongoing. Yeah, it's ongoing. Do you mean my scouting assignments? Yeah, currently ongoing. Until all next season, usually. I am gay. Okay. Right. What's the predictions against Leon? So we had a bit of a struggle against... Well, we're struggling really every game at the minute. Um... What is your predictions for this game against Leon? We drew against Milan. How many games do you make your scouts look at? One month, two months. Well, I, I, for my assignments, I literally just put. That's exactly that's all I do. With each region. Do you fit players in position or just buy players that already know in the position? I do I do kind of retrain players if I want to. Like, as an example, I've got a player called Fernandez, who is a he's not really playing at the minute as a DLP, but I think his stats look better as a box to box. So I, I kinda wanna train this guy in a box to box. My assignments are rubbish. It all depends on your gate, how many players are in your in your database, though. Like you can see how many players I've got loaded on my database, which is the max you can have. Um, in the section of responsibilities is what I ask. I, I'm I'm not really following you, if I'm honest. But I do need to look at this actually. Oh, there we go. So after improving the under the the coaches. That's now, we've got the best coaching team in the league. So, with excellent training facilities, that is perfect. So, that kind of worked. The under-23 coaches are in. Um, I just need to... The red's annoying me at the minute. There we go. I just need to look at this, actually. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we what's our um what's our red of youth look like? So who did we get? We got Jiri Plizak, who was he was actually pretty good, wasn't he, to be fair. He was the model citizen. Yeah, I don't really need to improve on that, I guess. Was he um Yeah, I don't really need to improve on that. He's asking for the default setting for when you scout. It's in responsibilities and mentions you scout in weeks or games. I still don't understand. Where is that though? Oh, this. Oh, I never even touched this. This is always okay. I get you, but I never touch it. I've just got it for one week. 
I've never even been. I don't think I've even been in that before. Right. Um. So here we go. So we play Leon. Um. All right. Let's do it. I'm not really confident at the minute. I think we're struggling. If I'm honest. So this is the team for Leon. If any of you kind of want to follow the Leon. Obviously, that Lacoz guy on the left-hand side here, I tried to get him on loan. He is a very good player. But yeah, that's the Leon team. We are away, so I don't know what we're going to do. Come on, Bolton. Trincao, Kessie. Biana. Pinto, 1-0. Good start, very good start. Considering Pinto didn't um, didn't score any goals last season, he only got ten assists. So to me, he's definitely improving. I gen genuinely enjoy your content. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I haven't seen you in the stream before, though. <laughs> what was that? Oh, what was David Raya doing there? Holy fuck! What the hell was he doing there? That is clearly a penalty. Didn't even get the ball, he just got the player. <laughs> of course it's a penalty. He better redeem himself now. Raya, you need to save this. Oh, he saved it as well. Okay, Raya's in the good books again. The poor penalty to be fair, straight down the middle. Paolo, you've got to be doing better than that. It was Trincao, okay. Paolo's getting absolutely battered on that left hand side. <laughs> He's getting destroyed. It's, I think he's too attacking. He's more of attacking wing back than he is defensive. Oh my god! Holy fuck! How did he tackle him there? Look at this for a tackle. Does it feel like we're not putting the balls over the top like we used to, or is it just me? I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on. We're not knocking the balls over the top. Oh, Trincao, man, holy shit, we're playing so bad. It's unreal. Where's the balls coming over the top like there was last season? I mean, David Ray is playing all right to be fair this game. Nice and easy, Paolo. Trincao. Don't lose the ball again. Come on. Mala. Good ball by Mala. Pinto. Find the cross. Mala. Back to Mala. And it's a good goal. There we go. Um, I switched names so I'm not I'm not as often in your streams, but the, the tutorials, Twitter are helping me so much, and I'm in, in it I'm in it since FM sixteen. Nice. Yeah, I've always kind of kept it at one week, actually. Right, we are 2-0 up away from home at Lyon. Very, very good result so far, anyway. Seems to be five minutes out of time in the off. Right, we're going to stick with the same team because they are playing pretty well, let's be honest. They're not doing too bad.
We're going to take Trincao off, though. Let's bring Davis on. We're going to bring Arp on as well for Milanadov. I don't know what's going on with Milanadov. Like, he had, he's, it was like the the stream towards the end of the season last year, wasn't it, where he was he scored like every game. But the first half of the season when he was injured last year, he barely scored. And he's barely scoring in this, I mean, this this first half of the season either. Maybe as a, maybe as a second half of the season guy, I don't know. Talk, I'm going to talk to him after the game, yeah. Pereda, Biana. God, you can't be losing the ball there, Biana. Pinto's won it back though. Pinto's the man. Mala, Davis, Pinto. There we go. Pinto has started the season very, very well. And that's 3 0 up over Leon. It's a big result, boys. This is massive. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable, Jeff, indeed. Falls it. Thank you for the um, sub. They had 11 shots on target, but they, they couldn't get a goal. Biana. Davis. Asano. Nice. The, to be honest with you, I'm kind of thinking that... <sighs> Pered is not really doing much, and I don't know if to replace him with Asano and see what Asano can do, because Asano maybe scores every time I bring him on. How many games you had in well, the Champions League? Uh, this is the second. We played Milan, which we drew, and we've we just we're beating these. Yeah, I don't know what to do with Pereira at the moment. And I've looked at his average rating throughout the games in a sec. I doubt. I very much doubt we're going to win the Champions League. I've yet. I've yet to win the Champions League on FM nineteen. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I can't really see that happening. Not this season, anyway. Uh, we're in the groups. Yeah, we drew with Milan. So our group, I'll show you the group stage now. Yeah, but we absolutely destroyed Leon. It's a very big result. So this is the group stage. Um, yeah, we we played Milan at home in the first game and drew 1-1. Uh, but we've got probably the easiest group stage. But we've got Besh we play Besiktas next twice, so we've got two point four million for the win there. So the money's flying in, currently eighty eight million in the bank. So we're gonna have so much money next season. What I quickly need to do though is we need to get the under eighteen staff sorted, uh, because that's the only thing now that I've not got. I think the under twenty threes is sufficient enough staff wise. They've got plenty of good coaches in. Um, we haven't got an assistant manager actually for the under eighteen, under twenty three, so we need that. But let me have a look at the under eighteens a sec. So I've actually got some. Okay. Oh, we put John Terry in the under eighteens assistant manager, not the under twenty threes. I need a new. I need a new um, under eighteens manager. Uh, and then we. Probably, yeah, I'm going to read, because we haven't done the coaches, I want to sack all these. Mutual terminate. Okay, so I just need a, so we haven't done them for a long time, you see, so. We just need an under 23's manager first. Uh, assistant manager, sorry. Marvin Brown. That's a great name. I don't recognize anyone else. Um, Marcelo Gomez. I mean, these are never going to be amazing, let's be honest. Someone like that has got the motivating and stuff. Under 23's assistant manager. I will give that him. And then I need an under 18's manager, don't I?
Um, is that the guy we... Yeah, I'm going to put this guy as my under-18s manager. In fact, is there... He might be better as a coach. No, I think it's going to be better as... No, because his coaching starts none of them 16. So I'm going to go with him as the under-18s manager. With John Terry. Um, and then coach wise, so we need a, of course, a goal, a fitness coach and a goalkeeping coach under 18s. So yeah, we're on the under 18s. These aren't going to be great, but let's see what we can bring in. So I'm looking on the men, the this side as well more than anything. Like that guy is kind of what I need for the fitness coach. So we can have eight coaches for the under 18. So we're going to have one fitness coach and one goalkeeping coach, like we always do for the time being. Sixteen, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, that guy would be perfect. He's got good work with youngsters as well. Let's bring him in as well. And then I can get six more normal coaches for the under 18s. So we're going to do defending. So we have two, four, six. So we'll have two, four, five. How many can I have? Six, two, four. I'm going to get two defending coaches and two attacking coaches, I think. In fact, let me one, two, three, four, five. I want to get an overall coach first, like this guy, for example. Oh, you went for the manager. Um, like this guy, an overall coach, and then we'll do one of each. Like we'll do defending. It's got to be sixteen. I need to make sure that that these stats are in the green at least. So under 18's coach. I'm not going to negotiate the wages. I'm not too fussed. Defending. Attacking. You got any tips for getting under 23? Um, yeah, Vish, are you joking? <laughs> I want to give you the best tip in the world. <laughs> um, so if you if you're looking for so if if your coach has come up just like this, um, just click the include button. So untick first team if you're looking for youth, like I am. Just make sure it's only selected on youth, and it gives you all the players who all the staff that will come on on youth contracts. Or for your under 18s. That's it. <clears throat> did I find the attacker one? I can't remember if I did. Did I go for that guy? I think I went for that guy, right? Um, Let me just go. I did we go for the attacking coach? I can't remember now. Let's go mental. So we've gone for him already. Andre Arshavin. I didn't go for the attacking coach. What did I get this guy for then? I must have gone for this guy. What would I sign this guy as otherwise? Oh, assistant manager, okay. Um, so yeah, we need a attacking coach. Someone like that's fine. Mike Garrity. I always get Garrity in my saves, great coach. Um, so we've done the mental one. We're nearly done, boys, nearly done. So we just need to get a tactical and technical coach. Like, guy's perfect. Oh no, wrong one. He's not going to say yes now, is he? Fuck. 
Oh, he is. Okay, sweet. So under 18s coach, and then one more, and then we're done. I think I just need to bring a sports scientist and one physio in. Um, we spent so long looking for players, we kind of forgot to do the staff, and the staff is the most really, really important. Um, so this guy, so we're looking for what a technical coach right now. That's, yeah, I mean, his level of discipline's kind of low, but we'll go for him. And then finally, just to quickly get a um, a physio, a sports scientist, sorry. Sam Huggins. Awful. With this, because there's so many just like natural fitness coaches who want to turn into a sports scientist, you have to kind of press that. Uh, that guy will do. We'll just get it in. Oh, I've already got one. What about a he what about um What about a Oh that's is all we can get. So yeah, okay. So we've already got a sports scientist in the twenty threes. Physio. And then I promise you we are done. Physios are quite important for the under 18s because obviously it, you don't want them injured forever, so we'll get two in. I didn't think I had an under 18s physio. Uh, not physio, uh, Alex McDonald. It's alright to be fair, let's keep him. Okay, yeah, I I'm happy with that. Like, yeah, the staff's completely done now. Um, so yeah, staff's done. It should help with the intakes, of course. Under 18 staff is very, very important to your youth intake. So always make sure you fill all the staff out. Anyone who's got any involvement with training um, will determine your youth intake as well. Right, so after that nice little win over, um, we're going to speak to Malanadov about his um, his recent form. You're right. Okay, he's going to score now. I thought that was just head of youth. No, no, the um, yeah, the the, the staff actually have a, a big input on the um, on the players as well. Milanadov SZN doesn't start until January. What do you mean? Ah, oh, okay. Scoring, do you mean? You need to check Pareda form. Yes, I do. Well, well spotted. If I say something, you might have to remind me because I do forget a lot of things. <laughs> I'm getting old. So I'll probably say I'm going to do something, then you'll realize I haven't done it. Right, can we ask for another affiliate? Yeah, it's, I wish he could do this more. It's really annoying. I want a new contract. Right, but we do play Crystal Palace now. We, oh, let's look at the Pareda form. See, I forgot then as well. Um, so Pareda, I mean, in all fairness, is on a 7.07. .07. .07. It's just, it's, I don't know what it is about him. His value is really nice. I, I just don't know if Asano is going to be better. Asano seems to do much more when he's playing. I, I, don't, I mean, we'll keep Hereda for the time being, but I think at, at some point Asano is probably going to take his place, I'm guessing. So if you, did, if you missed it as well, um, 
Juventus and Man City are after Biana now. He kind of needs a rest this game as well. So we're going to play uh, Maremovic this game. Paolo is struggling a little bit as well. We'll keep Paolo in though. Let's go with this. But don't forget the under-23 coaches help with the first team as well. Do the language of coaches matter much? Uh, I'm assuming it does. Like you'd think in real life it would do right. If you've got some guy talking Brazilian, if you've got no Brazilian players or Portuguese, you've got no you know Portuguese players, for example. So we just we just told off Milanadov and he's just scored, which is the the best feeling in the world. <laughs> it's one nil up. Who got the assist there? Trincao. Nice ball. Great ball, actually. Pereda. He's got to get more goals. See what I'm saying? Like, if I bring on now Asano, this has just annoyed me. Just going to see what Asano can do. Let's, let's just see what Asano can do this game. Assist straight away. See, oh, I, it keeps happening, and that's why I'm that's why I'm kind of messing with the thought of playing Asano. And it's only an assist, but that's why I'm just messing with the thought of, of yeah, of, of starting Asano over Pereira. I like, could have shot there and probably missed, but he set the goal up for Paolo. What happened to Magri? Yeah, Magri got sold. He was out on loan last season to. Um... <laughs> he just won that merch bunny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I, I, I kind of do. What's going on, Mathis? Pinto? Kessie? Nice. Nice and easy game. Do you reckon the players are kind of getting used to each other now? Like the new guys? Maybe the Leon game was the turning point. So we look, we look much better this game. Oh, they haven't had a single shot against us. <clears throat> we are still second in the league. Of course, it's very close. But I think we've got four games coming up who's against the top four teams, I think, or top five teams. See, Milanadov's... Uh, not Milanadov. Um, Mala's kind of been really poor, hasn't he? That's, that's just scored, actually, with an Asano assist. Perfect. So Asano's pulled off two assists since he's come on. This is what I'm saying. I don't know. Asano. And he gets a goal. I mean, that... that yeah. That's what I need from Pereira, and he's just not doing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start playing Asano, I think, until he drops off and then bring Pereira back on. Asano kind of reminds me of a little bit of Gronley getting into them positions. This is the first big win of the season, though. After a few bad games recently, it's kind of nice to win 5 0 so far. Let's say uh, I make some changes, though. Paolo needs to come off. Uh, put a Rana on. Let's bring Santiago Simon on as well. I was just about to say a clean sheet would be very nice, but I can't see it happening. Trincao with the free kick. Oh, Milanadov should have just pulled it back to Mala, though. He's offside anyway. Yeah, okay. So, 5-1 up. Looking very comfortable. I'm open. Of course, 5-2. It's never a normal game unless you score to concede two goals. For a corner as well. Come on, guys. The best win is still Bournemouth last season. That was incredible, to be fair. <laughs> oh, imagine if Crystal Palace pulled this back. I'm going to go offline. I'm not even joking.
Uh, it was 5 0, man. It goes from being like a real. There we go. Milanadov. Right, pass. No, don't matter. Shoot. There we go. 6 six 3. United are 5 0 up as well. What's your highest score in FM? Pulled off a 19 0 in a friendly. Uh, probably the game against Bournemouth. Like a competitive game last season was pretty special. We beat like a 1995 record, I think. <laughs> Even Ampadu scored. <sighs> Jesus Christ. But we scored seven goals in the Prem, which is a good sign again. I think Palace are struggling anyway. Palace are, yeah, Palace are near the bottom, so they're struggling anyway, so. But yeah, last season, I'll show you the result against Bournemouth last year. That's a decent win in all fairness, 7-3. International break, and then I think we've got Besiktas coming up. I think that's the last of the easy games, I think. If I remember rightly, is it? We've got a horrible run of, run of games coming up. Um... From here, actually. Yeah, we played Man United, Besiktas, Arsenal, Chelsea, Milan, and City in that period. So tomorrow's stream is going to be annoying. I can tell you that right now. But we've got um, Newcastle and then Besiktas. I want to play Besiktas before I go off. Uh, we've got a few staff coming in. What was I going to check? I was going to check that win, wasn't I? From last season. The Bournemouth game. Uh, Scott McKenna. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Um, yeah, yeah, here we go. So last season, we had a 10-1 win in the league, which I think is still amazing, against Bournemouth. Away from home as well, which made it even more special. Right, all the staff is kind of... I think all the staff's done now. Can we download your tactic? You can't at the moment, no. Right, okay, so I can... Can I ask about a affiliate at this point? Does anyone know? Or do I try and go for an alteration with the wage budget or something? What happens if you press that? What is your view of the current wage budget of 1.2 million? I feel the current wage budget is far too small to attract the type of player required. Do you have any thoughts on further potential changes? Well, what did they say about that? Transfer budget. Do you find the current transfer budget of 16.78 is restrictive? Too small. I'd like to make a request to the board. This is what I'm looking for. This one. God's sake. That's fine. We are not willing to agree. <laughs> of course you're not. <laughs> um... 
Of course you're not. <laughs> what a waste of time that was. Oh, he signed a new deal anyway. If you have to recommend a signing to your staff, it shows in the message where you asked it. Ah, okay. Never even knew that, actually. I thought it'd just pop up. No wonder I can never find them. Right, boys, I'm going to shoot, actually. Um, I need to get off, so I need to go and do something. Um, who's that guy? Oh, look at this guy, man. At Tottenham, 89 rated. Estimated cost, 92 to 172 million. Standardly aged youth prospect, I guess. Uh, that guy's in... Like, he's 18 years old. Look at the stats on that guy. He's going to probably be the best player in the world. How did they get him? Well, they signed it from standardly age, so for 16 million. No release clause. 230 million. Wow. Uh, there's a few players that we can look at, obviously. We'll look at these tomorrow, but he's not very good anyway. Guy from Lilstrom, not great either. We'll find the next good player, don't you worry about that. Rodrigo's obviously popped up. But yeah, I'm going to shoot... Um, I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. So 4 p.m. stream tomorrow. Um, don't forget to join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash fmscout. And I shall see you all tomorrow at 4 p.m. Goodbye, everybody. Laters.